on After Hours. I'm Baylor Rodman. And I'm Stephen Baim. We've got a great show for you tonight, but first, as always, let's get into some news. An Oregon man claims that he and his dog survived five days trapped in his car, living exclusively off of hot sauce packets. Wait, so when this guy eats just hot sauce for five days, he's on the news, but when I do it, I just get yelled at to get an actual <laughs> meal plan. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess the moral of the story is never clean out your car. All right, keep these crazy stories coming. All righty. Well, a Vermont couple got married at Walmart where they met in front of the flower display. Ah. Uh. Okay, continuing on. Uh, two people were arrested in Alabama for getting into a fist fight in a restaurant over crab legs. That's not news. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Okay, well, how about this one? Police were left stunned after finding more than 15,000 turtles wrapped in duct tape in unclaimed luggage in the Philippines. That is more like it. Tell me some more. All right, so the turtles discovered in four checked-in suitcases at Manila's airport have a street value of 66,000 pounds or almost 87,000 US dollars. Wow, I am shell-shocked. <laughs> I guess the hair had to win the race somehow. Do you think they were going to Shell gas station? Okay, that's enough. Okay, that's sorry, enough. sorry. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Officers in the snowy northern state of Minnesota were called after a worried resident noticed an adult male had been seen standing motionless outside while wearing no coat in the cold and hugging a pillow. Gosh, well, what was it? Take a look. Hey, it's that guy, the my pillow guy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love that commercial. So. Well, that's right. It turned out to be a life-size cardboard cutout of local millionaire and inventor Mike Lindell, the CEO of popular My Pillow brand. God, he's the best. <laughs> this is a family show, baby. <laughs> yes, and speaking of family shows, Jimmy Fallon just celebrated five years at the Tonight Show this past week. And to celebrate, he had several celebrity guests come on, including Adam Sandler, who serenaded him. And actually, we happen to be in our fifth season as well. So, Stephen, are you actually setting up your serenade for me to celebrate our fifth season, too? No, we, we copy Jimmy Fallon enough. <laughs> well, it was worth a shot, I guess. And while we're on the subject of pop culture... The Jonas Brothers! No. no. Oh. The next few months are big for the Marvel and DC cinematic universes. Oh, yeah, and over the next few months, there are four new superhero movies coming to theaters. First, we have Captain Marvel and Shazam. Then we have Avengers Endgame, the follow-up to the heartbreaking Infinity War. Yes, Dark Phoenix. <laughs> oh, the, the X-Men one. Yeah. yeah, and then the long-awaited Spider-Man, Far From Home. And because we're so excited, we wanted to create our own superhero. That's right, take a look. lose. He can't lose. He has to win. The fate of the world depends on him. Self-loathing at 7.30, meeting with Austin Powers at 24-7, and they're the video conferencing room. They're taking up the media room. They have to move their couches all of a sudden. Well, hello there. Um, excuse you. I cannot wait to see the finished product. Same. Well, our guests tonight are SGA executive presidential candidates Nate Jones and Jack Johnson. Who do you think might win, Stephen? Kenneth. <laughs> Good answer. Okay, well, we'll have a great show for you coming up, so stick around. More After Hours after the break. Ladies and 
and gentlemen, this is Elon After Hours, in case you've forgotten. Here I am sitting down with now Jack Johnson. He is the currently the Executive Secretary for the Student Government Association here at Elon, and he is one of the presidential candidates uh, running for Executive President of the Student Body. So Jack, thanks so much for coming on. Thank you very it's much. It's great having you here. Appreciate it. So tell me just a little bit, let's get right into it, on why you've decided to put your hat in the ring. Yeah, so uh, you know, I've been on SGA a couple years, but mm -hmm. Uh, when I was running for executive secretary last year, the big question I put to everyone was, what do you think SGA does? Um, and the biggest response I got is nothing or nothing <laughs> I care about or what does SGA even stand for? Oh, geez. Uh, <laughs> like, not ideal. Yeah. If you go the no, job. not ideal. Um, but what I got from that is that students want SGA to be an active role in the school. They mm. want SGA to do stuff for them. Um, but they, it just hasn't been. Uh, and what I've been working on this last year and what I want to do if I'm elected president is make SGA real to the students, um, mm -hmm. which it's a big job, but I, I'm game for it. Yeah, so now your slogan is uh, real leadership for the real Elon. Yeah. So can you tell me a little bit about what the real Elon is to you? Yeah, so uh, when I came to Elon, I fell in love with the tour. Mm -hmm. I loved seeing everything. I'm actually a tour guide now, so I can speak yes. to that on the other side. Um, but Elon so frequently gets caught up with the, you know, the glitz and the glam. We, we smile and put rainbows over the real issues that we have. Mm. And so what I want to do if I'm elected is strip all that down, really figure out what students care about, and implement that into policy. Uh, I've been going around to about now 20, 25 student organizations wow. over the last week. And I have now 120 different sheets of paper with different policies that students have written down that they want to see done. Those are real issues. And could you tell me a little bit about what those are? Yeah, so uh, they've primarily had to do with parking and dining halls, <laughs> um, which th th that's a very yeah. serious concern. If you can't get food at 8 p.m. at night, then you're done. Um, but then there's other things like th the fact that there is just this, this thinly veiled sexism, racism, and homophobia on our campus, mm. which is a really serious concern for many people. And openly recognizing that, and then not just responding to it, but proactively fighting against it, is something I want to do if I'm elected president. So now, can you tell me? Uh, obviously, you know you've had leadership experience mm -hmm. with SGA, and so how do you think of being secretary? And I know you served also before that as mm -hmm. well. How does that? You think that's a? Uh, some I say I think would say that that's a very important component to kind of prepping you into this position and uh, do you kind of see that as an advantage to yourself and yeah. uh, why is that important you think I, I, it's obvious like it's nice in an election setting but mm. it's more important when you're trying to get things done like Elon is a place built on relationships and right. yeah. those relationships come when you're in the room mm -hmm. serving as a senator uh, as the head of academic affairs or the academic liaison for SGA, as the chief of staff to the former president, President Morgan Bodenarian, and now as the executive secretary, I've been in those rooms. I've got personal relationships with the leaders on this campus. And those relationships, that know-how, is how you execute change. I, I totally understand if you want to focus on idealism, that's totally understandable. Mm -hmm. But I'm a guy that lives in practicality. And I want to do practical things for our students. Well, very good. And what is one of those things that you think, um, I know it's tough to already think about, I don't want to say your legacy, yeah. but what do you think is going to be that first piece of thing, you know, as we see in national politics, the first 100 days, the most important. So what's going to be that kind of first thing, that first piece of legislation that maybe you ask the senators to bring to the floor? Or? Can I give you three? Yeah, please. Yeah. Great. Um, First thing is the new Senate is going to ratify new bylaws for the SGA uh, Student Government Association. Mm -hmm. We have a new constitution up for a vote coming on this next um, ballot. I wanted to put in new bylaws so that we have more Senate positions related to your residential areas because you are more connected oftentimes to the place you live than the random organizations you're a part of or just to your overall class. Wow, I want to make a specific representative for national panhellenic fraternities and sororities on this campus because they are often represented by interfraternity council or panhellenic council representatives and they do not speak. They, they cannot fully articulate what it's like to be in a different council mm. in the same way that I can't articulate what it's like to be a sorority woman. Those incompatibilities are clear when you have one person representing half this campus. 
outside of that, that's kind of the first thing with the bylaws. Mm -hmm. um, the next thing is really working on um, transitioning SJA away from programming and focusing it on new initiatives. We are already moving Homecoming and the Elon Ball over to new organizations that have a better handle on how to run them. SGA plans really good events for people in SGA, and I've been planning those events all year long. But when you have, say, like Limelight Records planning an event for music, they're right. going to do a much, much better job. Mm -hmm. um, and the last thing is really focusing on mental health, and this is not a, a policy prerogative. Um, but, you know, the university has done so much, put the really money where their mouth is over this last year on mental health and supporting it. And now it's just about us students breaking down the stigma. I, I, I go to the counseling services quite regularly. Anita over in counseling services, she's awesome. Being able to say that, just, you know, it's a breath of fresh air for a lot of people. So. Absolutely. Well, Jack, thanks so much for coming on. I know yeah. you're going to be sticking around with us later. We're going to play a little I'm game. For some fiction We're going to hear from your opponent next. Um, but so now, can you tell our audience about voting, when it happens, where it happens? Yeah. So Better to come from you. That camera? <laughs> yeah, sure. There we right go. Five. Uh, so voting starts next Wednesday, uh, the 13th at 9 a.m., and will close on the Thursday, the 14th at 5 p.m. It's all on Fakes Connect. It's really easy, and please make your voice heard. It's how you get the change you want to see. Absolutely. Well, Jack, thanks so much for coming Appreciate on. It, yeah. Again, we'll see you a little later. Nate Jones is up next. He's going to be sitting down with Stephen, and we're going to hear a little bit of his take. So stick around. More After Hours coming up. Everybody and welcome back. It is my absolute pleasure to be sitting down with Nate Jones, who's running for SGA Executive President. How's it going? Oh, it's dandy. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming on. Thanks yeah, for coming course. on. So, quick question: What is your history with SGA? Do you have any experience? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, so, my oh, I'm old. Um, my sophomore year, mm -hmm. um, I was appointed to the position of developmental senator. Okay. So, what that job entails um, is basically for organizations that are not necessarily considered legitimate mm -hmm. um, and have not been here for a long time. They, I would be able to talk with those organizations and figure out how they could get funding and all of that. Um, but when I was first getting on SGA, the position really hadn't been in place for mm -hmm. a while. Um, so I've had a little bit of a different SGA experience because I actually didn't really know what my job right. was. So for uh, much of that year, actually for the majority of that year, I just kind of spent time observing SGA, working on the different committees, the One Phoenix mm -hmm. Committee, um, a little bit with SIC, which is the Student Inclusive Campus Committee. Um, but my job itself, it was, it was kind of interesting because I was like, what am I supposed to be doing? Yeah. Like, I would love some info, right? Um, and so in that way, I've just had like a little bit of a different journey That's awesome. on SGA. Yeah. So what are some of the things that you learned from that role and how do you want to plan to use those as executive president? Yeah. Um, so I think the main thing, like I said, was sort of just like observing the different I mean, it's politics, right? So figuring out the different dynamics, the way that people speak to one another within SGA, mm -hmm. I think is really important, especially if you are trying to enact positive change on a campus. It's good to know how to talk with people who come from different Absolutely. spaces, different perspectives. Um, and so I think a large majority of what I did was really just like figure out and like kind of watch the way people speak to one another. Mm -hmm. um, so what I would want to implement is just kind of that skill of like, okay, I've observed for a long time, like right. now I'm ready and here we go. That's awesome, thank yeah. you. Um, is there anything specific that made you want to run for this position? And if so, can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, so I just love Elon and I, and I love SGA too, which is like I know a very cliche answer. Um, but my love for Elon really has grown since I became a student here. Mm -hmm. And my journey to Elon, we don't have time. But it was <laughs> right, it was very nuanced and complicated like everyone's journey is. Um, but ever since I got here, my love for it just has grown and so I just wanted a way to give back to the institution and to all of my friends and fellow students um, that have just made my time here like yeah. all the more worth it. You know? That's great, that's yeah. great. So what are some of your plans for your first 100 days in office? Some of the changes you want to make or some things you want to implement? Big question. Yeah, yeah. big question. Hit me with it. Yeah. Loaded. <laughs> um, so one of the things that I think we should do is collectively like come together as SGA and as a student body and really figure out like what are we talking about, right? Mm -hmm. Like what the, oh, sorry. <laughs> like what, what are we talking about, right? So we say words like inclusion, and I'm not really sure if anyone 
specifically knows what that means, right? Um, diversity. Like I, we have a lot of town halls and different committees all revolve around these ideas, but I'm not quite sure if we know what we're talking about, mm -hmm. right? And so in our policies, in our budget allocations, in all of these things, it's reflective of the understanding that we currently have. Okay. Right. So I think that coming together within the first hundred days um, and extending beyond that, but being able to understand like, okay, this is a process, right. figuring this out, right? Um, and then once we kind of sit down and we're like, okay, this is what inclusion is. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what this hand motion is, but this is what inclusion is, right? This is what diversity is. And then be able to craft from the newfound understanding new policies, mm -hmm. right? And new um, just constitutional things and bylaws and parts of that, mm -hmm. yeah. That's great. Yeah. So in regards to Elon, you mentioned inclusivity. Yeah. What does that mean to you? Oh, wow, that's a great question. Um, that is. So my answer, that's tricky, right? Because college is inherently exclusive, mm -hmm. right? Organizations are inherently exclusive. Like you could probably make the case that SGA is one of the most exclusive groups on campus, right? right. But even then, like what does that mean? Mm -hmm. And so I think a lot of it is making inherently exclusive organizations inclusive of one another, Okay. right? And I also think it's a matter of us figuring out that like, okay, I don't have to be invited to everything, okay. right? And what does that mean? Um, and being able to understand that like, some events and some things are for certain groups of people and that's and like that's okay yeah. um and so for me it really is just about embracing the fact that everybody does belong here but elon right there's another cliche but um everyone does belong here they have a place here and if they don't feel as if they have a place here i think a big part of inclusion is recognizing that they are able to create their own mm -hmm. right that's, that's great yeah um so what do you think is the biggest problem at elon right now that you would like to address <sighs> i mean i think I think it stems uh, off of that sort of like, right, that what are we talking about? That we're kind of, we have a cultural vocabulary here at Elon where we use words like inclusion and diversity. And mm -hmm. a lot of people talk about the busy bragging culture of Elon. Um, and I really do want us to kind of come together and figure out like, okay, who, who is Elon? Like, I think that's a big deal because everyone has their own definitions of Elon, right? Um, and I think one issue that we kind of recognize all together as students is like the same people show up to the same things right right the same people are showing up to the same town halls and then they're put on the same committees and because they're on the same things they are given access to everything else mm -hmm. so they're in everything else right. and so then they just start stacking up the resume in the email chain with like seven things that are down there right I think we should address that and recognize okay. that like how do we make spaces and create platforms that are inclusive to everybody and to yeah. get people who aren't typically recognized by the institution maybe mm -hmm. to be in those conversations and to be in those spaces. That's really interesting. Yeah. Okay, so I've heard a little bit about your, your platform, your yeah. voice, your choice yeah. is what it's called. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about what that means? For sure, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> I, this isn't redundant, but it is your voice, your choice, right? Mm -hmm. So I think there is, in our generation, a lot of the times we have sort of like that doesn't matter, mental, like that doesn't affect me, right? Politics, mm. like whatever, I don't need to vote, like it's fine. And there's sort of like an apathetic perspective, but it is your voice, it's your choice, right? right? Like we are Elon collectively, everybody, hello. We are Elon, right? So we get to choose who Elon is and who Elon is going to be. So I think what your voice, your choice is, is regardless if you vote for Jack or you vote for me, like please just go vote, like right? Like just right. go out and vote because this is your school. Mm -hmm. It's our school. Um, and I think that's really where that stems from. And speaking of voting, would you mind just letting people know when and how they can make, they can vote and make their voices heard? Yeah, for sure. So it's March 13th and 14th. Um, so this is this upcoming week. I believe it's Tuesday, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Is that calendars? I think that's right. Um, and it's on Phoenix Connect. Everything you can kind of figure out through there. Um, but again, it is the 13th and the 14th, and it closes, I believe, at 5 p.m. on that's the 14th. Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday, Wednesday and Thursday? Yep. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. No dates. problem. No yeah, problem. Appreciate it. No yeah. problem. All right, well, thank you guys so much. And Nate, thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, of course. On. Thank you for having me. Make sure you keep watching. Nate, Baylor, Jack, and I are going to be playing a little game, so stick around. Woo! Thank you so much. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I am here with Baylor and Jack Johnson and Nate Jones, and we are going to be playing a little game called Blind Pictionary, or as blind people would say, Pictionary. <laughs> oh, God. And um, <laughs> the way we're going to be doing this is uh, I'm on Baylor's team, After and then hours. these two are on a team. Are you? And I don't know if I'm still comfortable with that. <laughs>
Yikes. <laughs> You're good. So one teammate is going to be picking one of these little papers from the mug, and it has an item on it, and then the person who read it will put on a blindfold and promptly draw whatever, or attempt to draw blindfolded, whatever was on the card for their teammate, okay. and then teammate tries to guess it. Sweet. And if you run out of time, we get to try, and if we run out of time, you get to try. Awesome. All right, wanna get started? Yeah, go. Okay. And what's the limit on drawing? Like the time? What is the time? Limit? I don't know what the time is. I'll scream it Let's just make it up, yeah. yeah we'll make make it up. Up. Okay. I have a lot. Okay. You're good? We're gonna are you do. Are you confident? We'll do 15 I'm seconds. So confident. 15 seconds. Confident? Okay. Quick, wait, You're on camera. Let me I have help a watch. You. Oh. <laughs> it's just, that doesn't look good. This is so just for my mom. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sorry. Ready? Go. I don't really want to. Bell. It's like a ham. Oh. Um, what is that? Is that a. I think I got it. I... No, he doesn't. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna put the setting in, okay? It's this. Uh, Out of time. That is it. Is that a sheep? <laughs> what is that? Okay. That's it. <laughs> so now we get a look. Well, take just take a guess. Take a guess. But yeah. Wait, wait. Let me let me show the fans. Is that a? Can I guess again? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Guess. Is that a comb? I don't. A comb. A comb. That's that's hair. You see what I'm saying? No. No. All right. I'm done. Is All that right. is that not right? Not yeah. a comb. Not a comb. Okay. Let's study it. A cow in the Irish countryside. I. Closer, definitely closer. Oh, I saw rainbow. That was so specific. <laughs> a, a cat. I'm not gonna get it. Okay, so, you can just yeah, tell what us. is okay. it? Okay, it is. Wow, I did not do a good job yeah, with this. A unicorn. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. With, oh, I get the rainbow now. Six legs. Oh, okay. I get the rainbow. <laughs> you got, you got the legs, the horns. Oh, so I'm not a nurse, right. but right. ready? I'm ready. That was okay, good. Can I yeah, yeah, raise it with that. That's so sweet. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> then we'll just put that on our eyes. That'll be great. <laughs> it looked like a comb, though, didn't it? No, it did a little bit. Support me. Right. It looked like, <laughs> like, like, it was like, it was like, you, there was a cow that had the little yeah. sad cone that the dogs have, unfortunately. Weird. Oh, that is sad. That is okay. sad. Yeah. Like, ready? Unicorns definitely don't have six okay. legs. Okay. <laughs> 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 my, I, I failed my unicorn anatomy test right there. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god, this is hard. That's why we're not art majors, so it's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay, good start. Ready? Yes. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm nervous. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Drawing. Can you narrate yeah, the whole thing? Play um, like that. I'm yeah. seeing a stick figure and I'm seeing bars. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing him behind bars and I am seeing a stick figure in jail. I'm in yes! Okay. Wow, Woo! that was way, way faster. I'm gonna um, tell you right now, this is not gonna go that well. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty quick. <laughs> so that is a person. They are in jail. We're not going to name who it is. That's up for you to decide. <laughs> one of us at the end of this. <laughs> okay, okay, that's, that's, that's it. it. Yeah. One of us loses. That's who it is. One nothing <laughs> to the hosts, I believe. Yeah. To the home team. Okay. Look away. Wait, I'm, I'm on it. Gotta okay, follow all these good. rules. I'm tempted. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Get on. Mm -hmm. Come on now. <laughs> oh, glasses. Oh, okay. Glass. Can I turn around uh, now? Yeah. What nice frames. Sorry. You can put them on if you'd like. Yeah. You won't be able to see anything. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is blind picture. Oh, can we just just behind your ears? Just a little bit behind. I your don't ears think here. that's gonna work. Like I'm just for saying, you. you got a little tuft out here. It's cute. <laughs> tuft. Like, a little tuft. <laughs> tuft. Yeah. What's a tuft? It's a thing. <laughs> All right. We ready? Where's the? 15 <laughs> seconds on the clock, please. Okay. Wait. Can we go? Can I go? And go ahead. Begin. Go. Okay. We got a cloud. Oh, and something coming off the cloud. Uh, Looks like a stocking. Yeah. It's a stocking. For what? And it's Christmas. Ah, bam. There we go. Oh, Quick. Yeah. Okay, I just responded to Baylor Jeez. right there. Too bad, yeah. we, too bad we can't both win. That'd be a good Here, let's just show your piece of artwork to the camera. Oh. oh, yeah, for sure. So this is, that's actually really good. That is very This good. is a oh. stocking or a J. What was the little guy in the other corner? Well, okay, so <laughs> I suppose I was going to draw a tree just in oh, case he didn't get it. Gotcha. I was trying to give mm -hmm. context clues. Right, right. Right? But he didn't need those. You're building the whole scene for me. Yeah, you know, it's all right, world. Steven. Mm. All right. It's 1-1. One, one. Let's hope we can mm -hmm. win it right here. Yeah. Just Just look away. Were you worried you were going to like lose your vision? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up. That's but not we're good, good for this game there. specifically. I can't lose my vision. Oh, uh, golly. Okay. I feel like I could golly before picture. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm ready. Uh, yeah. Baylor, I apologize in advance. This is going to be great. 
You have Don't let me down. On, by the way. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, you're so welcome. Okay. All right. Shit. 15 seconds on the clock, and begin. Okay, we got. Um, What's he looking like? Uh, so not great. The hell? Good start. Uh, a reindeer. A moose. Yeah. A moose. There it is. Yes. A moose. Wow. All right. <laughs> this is way easier. Than right. too. <laughs> I like this. He's so surprised. Oh, you, okay? <laughs> you did very good. Hey. That looks good. That Thank looks you. so good. Oh, so okay. good. I don't know if I can do All better. Right. I think we have time for one more. So. One more. Okay. okay I gotta redeem myself. More. One more from the candidates. We'll one give the visiting the team okay. uh, another chance. Chance at redemption. Chance at redemption. Chance at a tie. Is it 2-1? It is 2-1. Two two one. One. Is this oh, like God. a double or nothing sort of deal, or are we going for the tie? Yeah, double yeah, or nothing. Sure. Double, double or nothing. Double nothing. If you guys get this, you win. I like the high stakes. What can I say? If you don't win... Come on, Jack. Nothing happens. Big money. <laughs> 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 nothing, You're terrifying. Nothing happens right. at all. That's okay. Uh, oh. That's not good. That was a <laughs> scary sound. Okay. Yeah, well, I had to follow up on golly right there. <laughs> <laughs> kind of nice. okay. That totally looked like a comb. I'm stuck on that. A comb? That totally okay. looked like a comb. Bueller, am I ready? You, I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> You're ready. Are you ready? I have no idea. Okay. All right. 15 seconds going. There okay. you go. Okay, so we have a, an oval. Is that the Pillsbury Doughboy? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks... Um, what is this? It still looks like the Pillsbury. No, Dumbledore. right? No, yeah. it totally looks like the Pillsbury. Or the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters. <laughs> so not what it's, it's tried to be. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Potato Head. I don't. No. A pumpkin. Uh, uh. And uh, that is no, time. No, please. That's, that's, that's a break. Right. All right, show it to the camera. Right. No, it's not break. Oh. Show it to the camera for us. A French, oh. a French person. A French person. Oh. Oh. An apple. Oh. I see. I see. What is that? An apple. It's a fish tank. Fish tank. Oh, it's boy. a fish tank. Is, now I, I see it. I was now trying I see it. That's like the top of the fish tank. Did you try and make a 3D photo? Uh, that's <laughs> you tried to do depth? <laughs> so listen, the presidency <laughs> possibly could be great jobs for both of you. Artists, I'm not, not so sure. Not that's so okay. Not so yeah. 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 Thank you. We'll take that. I guess we won. Yeah. Good game good to the board. both of you. Yeah. But great good game. Playing with you. Thanks so much for coming on tonight, guys. Thank you And again, ladies and gentlemen, if you are here at Elon, you can vote for either of these fine gentlemen. As again, they are running for executive president for uh, the Student Government Association. And again, voting is March 13th and 14th on Phoenix Connect. That will do it for us tonight. Thank you for joining us for After Hours. And thank you for inviting us into your homes. Uh, we'll see you right back here next week. You can follow us on all social medias, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all at Elon After Hours. Have a great week, Elon. Woo! Woo!